we go. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> now, now I need to clear my throat. <coughs> when you don't talk for ages, and all of a sudden your throat's just like. Oh. Anyway, hello. We're here to talk about the data core for new players or experienced players that have never used it before. Uh, I thought I'd take us through. And actually, no, we're not. We're going to talk about BigBook.app because BigBook.app only features all the latest reviews. And I'm going to sit here and talk about BigBook.app for two hours because it's no, no, I'm not really <laughs> the ultimate fake out. Um, <laughs> you thought you were going to watch about uh, uh, data core, but no, it's BigBook.app all along. No, um, no, we are going to talk about the data core. Uh, data core.app. But how are you? can use it what the information is there and how you can use it on other sheets and to improve your roster and generally make things better so if you are a new timelines player a uh, star trek timelines player and you have not used this before datacore.app you can see i have the link here datacore.app um here yeah, with this random shit i look at <laughs> uk politics and got the guardian not here to talk about that today um we will. I will take you through uh, the general how you get your data into the data core, how you sort of log in and uh, how you use it. Generally, I would say you need to be on a, a desktop or a laptop to do this. Anything sort of with a keyboard and you can copy and paste quickly. Um, you can do it on a mobile. It is a little bit trickier. I've not done it myself, um, but it is possible. But generally, you can this is something you need to do in front of a computer so you know if you do not have one hopefully you can find someone that does or uh, get someone i mean uh, yeah we won't talk about swapping logins at this point but and the beer that i'm drinking tonight is uh, a, a little a little one a little a little beer it's a quite a large beer but it's from little uh, a steam brew um I, this is just a sort of a nice ipa i drink sometimes and it's in a tall can look it's tall as my head fantastic all right, let's get to it. So datacore.app brings you to the front page here where you have lots of stats, lots of um, information about crew. And um, one of the things that I find uh, if you're a new player, this is this is one of my old accounts. I, I don't I don't play with this, but it has enough crew to sort of almost be justified as a newish account or someone that doesn't really know what they're doing. But when, when you're playing timelines, if you played it for the first time um, and you look at, look at crew and you haven't got a freaking clue, honestly, like there is no real information in the game about what this all means. Like, um, you might look at this and go, "Oh, I'm getting boosts here. Like, he's he's this skill set brilliant. And he's oh look, he's he's okay. He's got that much, and he's got ma that much of that. But what does it all mean? What's you know? It's you can." sort here by various different things and even though we do have a shuttle mission on at the moment oh gosh there isn't really enough in the game so i haven't loaded this alt account up for a while there isn't really enough in the game to explain um what what counts for what 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 what's what numbers are good what are the good numbers here they get bigger yes but why um so uh, generally it's 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 quite a hard thing to pass and you might say oh i've immortalized my first person wow look at that 1309 is that good do does that who, who knows has all these traits what are traits for like I, I remember first playing the game when they've got traits so what now like traits are probably some of the most important things in the game like um if crew with good traits is is good shit mm. but there's no way in the game of knowing and also the sorting mechanism up here is um not really that helpful um it's it's not great it doesn't really factor in a lot of things that you should know uh, and it can be quite deceptive and if i was to say cite these people who are my top dip base well i can tell from experience humanoid figure and tourist tucker are not gonna be they're not gonna they're not very good <laughs> they're not good crew you can do better i've got better down here like mambo and Guinan and, and like well yeah and homestead of janeway so uh, you know i just know that from experience but if you're a new player you would not know that so enter enter the data core um, where you can it, it, like the like the big book app it does give you the overview of all crew and you can click on crew and get a bit more of a a breakdown of information but again it's all kind of meaningless you get a voyage rank like compared to every other crew in the game and yeah that's fine so we can we can look up um, whoops. Uh, we can look up say oh yeah say new new crew princess thalia voyage rank one three five great one thousand two hundred of the game she's maybe good that's upper echelon do you know why well until you get her you don't really know um a lot of collections and it depends where you are with the game but we're going to go through importing your data and looking at the many player tools you can use and also we're going to look at some of the spreadsheets 
um, such as my um, oh, hang on, ignore it, such as my uh, data call analysis sheet and my voyage analysis sheet, which are very good. And this is just this is just me talking. They're very good for for looking at who is good in your roster and who is worth citing. For example, we'll get to that. Um, I just like little um, confirmation. I am not anything to do with the data core. Um, I think I, I'm i somehow a moderator. I say I'm not anything to do. I'm somehow a moderator, but there's, there's nothing to be moderated on, on, the, on the Discord. But I'm no way responsible for any kind of programming or any of the logistics or any of the decisions that get made behind this. I'm literally just some guy who took the data and ran with it. Um, so let's go into importing your data. So this is kind of the one where a lot of people struggle over the first hurdle. I know a lot of people kind of go, I don't know how to import my data. So this is this is uh, this is the hardest part because um, when you get here, so when you click, oh hang on, oh, I'm already loaded. Mm -mm. Hang on, let me get let me open a, a private window. Ooh la la. This is quite a good way if you've got alternate accounts, you want to load them into the data core as well. Is open a private window because it'll uh, get rid of all your data. So when you click on any of these links, any of the links on the player tools, um, it'll come up with this. Uh, so you will open this page, you will take the data, you will paste it in here, literally. Copy all and paste. If you've never copied and pasted in your life, and I know I know there are some people out there, I have worked in an IT capacity in the past and have known people who sit in front of computers who didn't know control A and control C and control V. So <laughs> I know you're out there. I don't don't feel bad. Time to learn. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and we're gonna log in. Uh, I am not gonna show you my login, but I will show you the start. What you wanna do is sign in with DBID. I don't think Facebook works anymore. I know the Facebook game room got shut down, but I don't know if there is still Facebook gaming. But it's best to sign in with a DBID. Um, this will just be your email and your uh, password, which I'm going to do off screen. Um, great, dox myself already. Never mind. Um, I'm not going to log in with that account. Silly me. Silly, silly me. I'm going to log in with a different account. Never mind. <laughs> My spam filter is going to take a beating tonight. Uh, right, let me log in. I think that's the password. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right, here we go. So it will come up with all this data. If you are on Chrome, it will stay here. So you can tell it's still loading. Wait for the page. Wait for the page to load entirely. Like my, if you're on a slower internet connection, that might take a little while. There is a lot of data here. Uh, if you're on Google, that'll present itself automatically. I use Firefox. You get a few options here. You can actually have a little flick through all the actions in the JSON, but that's a little bit more advanced. Click on raw data. Raw data will get you all of this complicated code, all of this. Well, this complicated um, Java, Java or JSON, whatever JSON is. Um, uh, basically, this kind of gives you every piece of information about your roster, uh, where you are in the game, what your gauntlet is, everything, 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 what you own, everything. Um, what you want to do first of all is select it all. Now, trying to drag that, that's no. This is why it's difficult on mobile because it's really hard to do. Um, you can, of course, right-click and save. You can save as a JSON um, uh, and then import it later or send it to your phone, do it that way. Uh, the easiest way is just get on a computer, a desktop or a laptop. Control A, select all. Once it's finished loading, wait for it to finish loading, otherwise it will give you errors. Then copy or you can right-click and copy. Come back to this page, come over here, where it says paste your player data here, paste and watch what happens when I click paste. Ding, 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 it starts working all out. And now your data is loaded into the data core. Everything from your timelines account is in there. Um, yeah, so we are now presented with a few options. This is the first page, we'll, we'll go through it in order. So this is the first page, this is the voyage calculator. So again, like I said before, the game is absolutely atrocious about telling you who is good at what, for what reasons. You can quite easily, and I did this at the start, everyone did this at the start, look over here and kind of go, oh, who's my biggest, biggest thing here? Okay, I'm just going to put everyone who's the top because they must be at the top, they must be good. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not always the truth. You've got a few things to consider with voyages. If you know how voyages work, oh god, what's going on with the UI? Um, you will know that you want to try and get your gold and your silver skills as high as possible and kind of get everything else around the same level, maybe have a high tertiary skill. Um, but the game doesn't tell you that. The game doesn't tell you how voyages work in any kind of capacity or detail. It just says, what are voyages? Voyager skills are displayed as the cruise. Yeah, it tells you how this, but there's um, yes, you eye glitches. Thank you, Cairo. Um, but, uh, again, it's very simple to give us the maths, 
but it's 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 in no way do they give you any meaningful form here except they do order it somehow <laughs> i believe it's ordered by the average so it's the base skill um <clears throat> excuse me base skill plus the average of the minimum and maximum proficiencies i'll very quickly go through this i wasn't going to go through basics but i will do this very quickly because we're talking about it so if we look at uh data here let's see how good of a voyager data is you would take the we'll go from bonuses so your base skill plus the average of your minimum and maximum proficiencies add those together and you've got the voyage score of that that skill and then you add it to the others and that kind of gives you the the total score which is what is um uh calculated for voyages when it calculates the different um dilemmas and things um yes voyages and crew retrieval we will get onto crew retrieval at some point um so yeah uh, uh, whoever knows how to stock this all up the best thing is people people do do this manually kudos to you if you do this manually i do not have the patience to work out all the numbers or sit and flick through this utterly awful scroll list of crew um like this is if the ui was better if there was a better way of looking at it better way of comparing crew and you know better way of balancing this data without having to um, manage traits as well maybe we wouldn't have to use the data core one hang on no that's the wrong one this one so uh data core when you load it it will automatically tell you what skill sets is in this voyage so for this voyage yes correct we have got an engineering and command voyage fantastic pioneer ship trait well we don't i don't have the pioneer on this account so it just says use the decora Creighton. tap 16 times on your voyage selection screen to select the decorate that is so handy because when you get a bit further in the game there are so many ships there really are so many um so being able to told you know being told you need to tap 16 times in one direction so there we go decor creighton that's the ship i'm going to use i have 2408 antimatter not bad not bad for this account i've completely forgotten about oops wrong window again try this one um when it loads up and there's an event going on it will um automatic this, this box here automatically excludes uh crew that are in the current event you can ignore that um but it will, as, as a gesture, say, you can exclude these crew. Don't send them on voyages because I'm going to need them for the event. You can even click on here and add people. So let's just add um, away team Saru to there as well. So when you do calculate, it won't um, count them for anything. Count them for the voyage, sorry. But if you click the X, it'll just clear that. So we're looking at all crew, all crew in my roster. Who's going to be the best to voyage? You can also click this button here, which will consider frozen and vaulted crew. I found this a little bit finicky um, on sort of all voyage calculators I've ever tried. Sometimes the scores get a bit weird. Um, the same is if you've got crew that are out on shuttles as well. Um, it will get a bit funny about how to do the roster. So I tend to just exclude everyone and just get them to choose um and then work it out from there but since we're not we're not this account isn't in an event um we're not participating in the event right now uh we'll just go for everyone um and we won't exclude anyone we'll keep everyone in my roster to be um chosen um so you've got a variety of calculators as well so there are different ways of calculating there's the original one based on code from ah, i can't remember the name of the person that did it chewy chewable c plus c plus chewable c plus plus code um back in the day which is one of the original ones and there's also another new one called multi-vector multi-vector assault you can compare the two i found both fine i use multi-vector assault more often now um mostly because it loads quicker <laughs> it is quicker um search depth if you've got a big chewable c plus plus thank you um if you've got a you know your search depth basically how long it takes to look at your roster and really crunch the numbers again i found six or seven about average um six is fine if don't even don't even try nine that just takes forever and this is using your cpu to calculate this so if you've got a slower computer um maybe crank it down a little bit uh if you've got a bit of a if you've got a bit more then yeah i do and you can also tell it how many extensions you want so if you're planning to go on a long voyage or if you're planning to extend it once or twice with voyage tokens or dilithium don't do that use voyage tokens um you can tell it to do that 10 generally i say none because we're all trying to get that 12 hour window aren't we um, at the very bottom here, a privacy notice, uh, they do take your um, crew that you use for the Voyage Hall of Fame, which I believe is broken right now, but they'll probably fix it. If you don't want them to do it, just unclick that, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, since I'm doing this as a dummy run, I don't want to spoil the statistics, but that is the only thing I believe it is used for. So let's go with the original one. The original is slower, multi-vector is assault, so let's go all calculators. 
um, estimator threshold. I don't know what that does, but we'll set it to auto um, and we will calculate. So it's going to sit and think about this in a nice thing. So multi vector is, oh, it's done them both very quickly. Ah, okay. So looking at the differences here, there are a few little differences. Actually, there is only there is no differences. They've done the same thing. So you can see at the top here, it's giving you an estimated time. So six hours thirty nine on this account. Yeah, this is a quite a quite a quite a, a young account of mine, which I did try and get merged with mine, but they wouldn't let me. Um, so you can see your estimated time. Uh, estimated time is est uh, the range from six hours eighteen uh, to seven hours one. So you know you know you're going to get three three um, uh, three three dilemmas out of it. Is it X Nightmare? No, this is not an X Nightmare account. No, this is one I started... I think I was just going to go gold, so I was going to ignore Purple Crew, but I forget. I just got bored of it in the end. Um, uh, so, yes, so you can go for more details here if you want to, say, get a chance of a eight-hour dilemma. Oh, 100% 100, 100 if I spend 81 dilithium. Um, again, that's just some charts if you want to look at it. The important stuff is here. Excuse me, my beer is repeating on me. Um, so here we are. So this will tell you what ship, Decora Crane, we already knew that, tells you 16 times to get to it. Who do you use in which seats? And it even tells you with this little icon here, who gives you the little antimatter bonuses. So we've got a fair amount of antimatter bonuses here. And over here, you can see the exact scores. So you can compare the scores between the two. In fact, they're exactly the same. Um, so you, if you were to get more calculations, you would probably have a look and say, oh, maybe I like that seat there. Maybe I don't like it. You can even go back and recalculate it if you hit the edit button here and say, I'm not happy with that. I want to, well, let's do that. I want to exclude, oh, hang on. No, that's not the button. Ah, I promise I know how this works. Uh, do, 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 do. I believe you just go back to Voyage Calculator. No. Oh, no, it's down here. Here we go. So we can, I can go back and exclude, uh, let's say, exclude Armus. Don't want him. So let's, let's recalculate. And it won't replace these. It will add to it. So you can still go back and go, oh, actually, maybe I will go for this one. So these ones, also 639. Um, I think with my roster as it is, there's not going to be a huge range of difference. But if you've got a more varied roster, uh, especially during an event, you might find there's different results. Pick and choose the result you like the look of, to be honest. Once you get a feel for how voyages work, uh, you'll you'll see how it is. So we're looking here. We're looking first officer Armus, Psi 3. You might think, well, what does this mean? This is the most handiest part about the data core. I mean, it was only introduced fairly recently, and I don't know where my life was without it, honestly. Um, uh, literally, it tells you, look at the third third crew in science so let's go into there into science crew number three is armus oh my gosh amount of times i've been like where is this crew where are they oh my god i can't find them um so you can proceed to carry on um equip all your voyage equip your voyage and send it off um recommended estimate runtime 639 um there are a few edits things here you can actually once you send that off you can set any skill you want and get it to calculate. So let's have a look at a Psy Med um, ship trait hologram. Uh, let's keep the traits the same because I can't be bothered to play. Oh, no, let's, let's just change a couple. Hero, uh, villain, astrophysicist. Uh, voyage traits are set. There aren't uh, many variations of what there are. There isn't like the complete whole thing. You won't find Dupler on there. You won't find... Um, think of a trait any trait <laughs> you won't find uh, rongovian on there um you'll there will be a set one so like there are a lot of crew out there that are very specifically for voyages um so we'll, we'll change that close it down it'll change it and this is this can be your in theory i don't want to send ardra or bartender guy and so you can sort of play with different calculators even if you have sent a voyage out you could still have a have a play around with different voyages and think hmm, wonder what's good for me actually this is a good one seven hours 30 for a psi med voyage actually psi med is a bit stronger than the eng command on this account not bad so that's the voyage um the voyage calculator probably one of the most handiest things uh, about the data cores um tools um there is going to be more hang on hmm there is an option once you have sent a voyage let's send send a voyage i believe hang on let me reset uh profile up there options hang on a minute let's just reset this because there is and my phone is doing that there was supposed to be an option somewhere and i don't know where it is um for uh exporting to maybe wait for it to finish calculating 
exporting to one of my sheets. Um, I have a sheet specifically for voyages to work out who you use often, and I don't know where the button's gone. But there, if you see a button that pops up saying export to uh, Captain Idol's voyage analysis sheet, you can click that and that'll copy this data in a format that will accept it there. But we'll go over that a little bit later. Next up, the event planner. Now I'm going to switch over to a different sheet now. I'm going to go on to this one, which is my this is my account so this is the one my my big boy account um because this is probably a bit better to show the event planner which ding 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 okay so here we go here we see the event that's being run at the moment um you can also choose a future event if you want to um but we're going to go for thankfully we're running a faction right now it's a good time to show this off because this is what the, this feature is has the most potential for this will show you everyone on your roster that is the best for this event, the best ones you want to send on shuttles. Um, I believe it will also apply to Frozen crew as well. Yes, yeah, so Solkar is frozen. Oh, I should be unfreezing Solkar maybe because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going nuts for this event, but I wouldn't mind a few uh, few extra credits and crons here on there. Um, and Captain Carol Freeman actually wasn't expecting that. Shows how much I pay attention. She's on the artwork. Hmm. Um, so yeah, this will show. Um, who is the best for uh, different seats. Now, the thing to remember with um, faction events is you tend to see the same kind of seating. You'll see a lot of command and dip. You'll see a lot of uh, sec and command or anything like that. You'll see very little eng med or very little med. So people like Azet Burr, maybe a pull to get out for the dip, but don't expect her med to do much. Um, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit too technical with the, vari with the variations. But this will show you the best people and think about who to unfreeze. Uh, and even, the, even better... This will show you the best matrixes of who is the, the, the best people to sit on seats. So Dupler is all over this event. So along the top here, we've got Command, Psy, Sec, Engineering, Dip, Med, Command, Psy, Sec, Engineering, Dip, Med. And you can see, right, who's the best person for an engineering um, diplomacy shuttle? Oh, look, it's Dupler Emissary. Who's the best one for a Med, Med shuttle or just pure Med? Uh, Prisoner Katrina. So that's a really good, really, really good one. Um, I, I kind of like this one. I don't use it too much, but um, it is nice to be able to know and think, ah, I'm going to have a lot of range for this event. I've got a lot of good crew. Uh, and then down here, I haven't actually uh, seen this part before, but you can say, I'm going to add Admiral Necheyev to my crew to see how they fit in. Uh, oh yeah, see, she's there. And it'll highlight it in green. Um to see like oh maybe she is well mind you we're on page six now so yeah page six maybe she isn't so worth putting in let's try someone else let's get rid of her uh let's put in uh who's high dip let's go for another sato no professor sato um hang on a minute that's interesting why is that a very lessened list hmm Graham guess paris he's high grip where would he be? He would be on page four, so maybe he would get... If I had a fully fused Krenn and guess Paris, he might get a bit of work uh, later on, but who knows. And you have uh, a mission list as well, which will tell you the seats and the skills um, needed for these shuttles. And this is... Uh, basically, this is a gold mine, so you know that... Hang on, looking at, say, this shuttle... Oh, there's no med there. There's no med there. Uh, there's no med there. No med there. No, there's no med on any of these seats, or am I being blind? Oh no, there is some med there. A very small amount of med on one of these shuttles. So you can say, well, maybe I won't get the med crew out. Maybe I won't do those. We'll leave, we'll leave those for this one. Uh, and you can even create a custom mission if you want to. Um, <laughs> and go nuts and just see who's the best one. So mission name. Uh, Twitch demo. Which faction's it for? It's for the augments. It's command. It's dip. How to see. Let's do another one for eng. Dip close and it will add it in it'll see yeah <laughs> so you can see it there um or oh, shuttle assignments as well again i haven't played with this one too much but um it's it's so feature friendly like there's so much here that you can do if you really want to go nuts on a faction work out who's the best people to unfreeze where to put them who's going to sit on what seats you can go real down in the nitty gritty um if you want to rank in a shuttle event excuse me and while i take a small beer hmm Shuttle assignments tab for getting the best crew to each shuttle. Very useful. Remarkably effective in full faction events. The shuttle assignments tab. Have I seen that? I haven't seen that, I don't think. <laughs> Here's me giving the demo and being taught online. This is why we're doing it on stream. Uh, shuttle assignments. Oh, we have shuttle assignments. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. All right. Ah, okay. So success chance 97%. So you can actually add people to a mission and have them. Oh, that's really cool. 
Um, yeah. No, that's really cool. That's a good feature. Okay, moving on. We'll ignore... This one is just crew. This is just people that are in your roster. Again, I'd recommend other resources for this. Um, you can filter. You can show, show like who's unfrozen. Show who's idle. I don't know. That's just me. Um, you can see only freezable crew. People you can freeze. Um, show only non-immortals. So you can see who's still got left. Uh, crew only needing one fuse. So you can... Got a, I've got a sight handy. Who can I throw it on? You can see that there. Oops. Go away, you. Um, you can only show duplicates. So there we go. Uh, right, let's go with the filter rarity. So I can say, oh, hang on. I only want to see super rare crew that I can that need one fuse. Ah, there we go. I've got these crew that I can instantly get rid of if I need to fr uh, free some space out. Mm. And you can filter by trait, you can do search. There's a lot of advanced search terms as well, so you can search by rarity, um, you can search by skill, you can search, uh, are they in the portal? That's always a common one. People go, oh, who's in the portal? I don't know, but you can search for that. Or if you just hover over this question mark over here, it'll tell you a few a few things you can do. And yeah, you can do ors or ands and rikers that are not romantic. God knows how many they are. Not many, I should believe. Let's go to my second favorite thing about this. This is godly when this came out. For those that haven't used crew retrieval before, it's a very fun, very good way to um, get uh, crew. Sorry, Evans just said, great in hybrids too. If you've lost the bonus calculations for dirty shuttles in the game after starting phase two, data will still give the correct chances. Exactly. Data core doing things the game cannot. Uh, crew retrieval. So you're stuck thinking, God, who can I retrieve? How do I retrieve them? There's a billion pole stars. I have some. Uh, maybe I'll just throw a bundle in and get some super rare crew. Stop right there. Come here and use the data core because this will show you who you can retrieve in your roster, not in the whole game, just in your roster with the pole stars that you have. So this is specific to your account. And this is great because... This will help you think, like, uh, maybe I want to get... Who, who do I want to get? I'm going to flick through this page and go, oh, hang on, Admiral Kirk. I could even do another star for him, and he's a gambler. Fantastic. Click on the little view icon, and you've got... You can see which pole stars he uses. So he can say, a gambler and hero. Ah, I've got one of those. Very easy. Two stars where um, previously you'd have been like, uh, maybe I'll have to use this one, that one, this one. This tells you specifically what you want. It's absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't stop there. You can actually say, I want to only show show, um, show all the crew that have not been fully fused, uh, that are five star. By the way, don't retrieve super rares. It's not worth the money. Only retrieve golds. Um, and well, maybe I want to have a look at who's in acoustic vibrations. Okay, so I really want to complete the acoustic vibrations, the musician collection. This will show you who, who you've got in there that you can retrieve. Oh, look, I can retrieve even if I don't own them. Um, I can retrieve Adam's first star, um, or you can show only my own crew that I, I have in this collection. So, ah, right, I could... Uh, oh, motion chip data, maybe I should start working on him. Do I have the poles? Oh, he's a costly one. Gosh, he is a costly one. Um, there is one feature I do like about this, is that you can specifically turn on or off uh, pole stars that you have. You can even give yourself a pole star you don't have. So, for our data's case... I don't know. Let's add... Um, uh, I've got quite a few pole stars. Let's go over here because you can as well on the... Was it motion ship data, wasn't it? A motion ship data. On the crew, the general crew page, you can see um, what pole stars each crew has for them to retrieve. So on your one, you see what you have on the generic uh, page. On the general page for that crew in the data core, you can see what they need. So I can see, ah, look, there's a three skill combo here that I don't have. So what am I missing? Am I missing cyberneticist? So yeah, I need to think about getting that pole star there. I've got diplomacy and resourceful. So if I then add the cyberneticist pole star uh, into here, oops, uh, did that add? Oh, there we go, add, there we go, close. It will then give me that option. I don't have it, but that gives me an inference to go and buy it, but we will get rid of that. We'll get rid of that now. Acquire the, <laughs> there we go, guaranteed retrievals. Um, so yeah, uh, like retrieval can be like in the game as well. Retrieval can be, it's it's good. It is actually quite a good feature. It can be um, quite customizable. So let's say, oh look, Adam's there. Let's show the pole stars for Adam. It'll show him what I've not got. <laughs> oh, actually, let's go back to emotion ship data because I could retrieve him. Here's a better example. Let's go to emotion ship data. Show the pole stars. 
Um, oh, I thought I had... Oh, I'm on the wrong account. <laughs> I'm on the wrong crew. Um, so, yeah, I would need federations. But it doesn't tell you what's the optimal. This game doesn't say that um, cyberneticist... What was it? Cyberneticist Android? No. Uh, what was it? What was the optimal one? One second. Oh, hang on. No, that's over there. Why are you over there? Uh, what was it? It was cyberneticist diplomacy resourceful. So let's go back here. Cyberneticist uh, diplomacy resourceful. There we go. Guaranteed chance of emotion ship data. Wonderful. I can. I know. I know. I know. I can do that because of the data core. But the game wouldn't would have let me go all over the place and maybe char. Ooh, a one in three with Flint HMS Pinafore and emotion ship. Mm. Uh, would like the ability to rank crew retrieval options by their Big Book tier. I believe that was a feature at one point before Big Book 2.0 tier. Let's have a look. Hang on. Yeah, no, there is tier. There is tier there. Um, let's clear the filters. Hang on. Let me clear. Oops. None or any. Yeah, you can sort by tier. I think that's up to date. We'd have to talk to Neymar about that. Um... Yeah, that's in there. That 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 works fine. So I know in this account on my uh, am I on the first page here? Yeah, I am on the first page. Own crew. The best crew I can get is a tier four. <laughs> like in the like a new tier from the current big book. I think it it mm. let's check big book dot rap for away team uh big book dot rap. Away team Michael Burnham. What tier are you these days? Tier four. Yeah, that's pretty up to date. I think that is. Let's uh, who's the newest crew I can retrieve? Lara's tier four. I think Lara. I think I think that is up to date. Oops. Lara. Yeah, tier four. Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, that is up to date. Um, there are a lot of change logs. Um, so uh, sorry. Ap apologies. I, I I presume that is what it is. Um, anyway. Oh, it's been a few hours since you last updated your data. Nothing's changed. Don't worry about it, big book. Let's now talk about the citation optimizer now. Big grain of salt with this one. I don't particularly like this feature because it's not too accurate. We'll go in there, and this is my main account. Um, this is not my old one. We'll go and look at my old one as well in a minute um, when it's loaded. It takes a little while. Um, this will basically recommend where to put your sites. I would take this with a huge, biggest grain of salt that you can find, literally. Like, don't entirely trust this um there are a lot of things it doesn't factor in it does state on voyages improved i think is the main metric but there are a lot of other things you should consider especially now that fleet boss battles is out collections are everywhere and give you big bonuses there are crew on this list that i would i wouldn't get a single voyage improved for like it's recommending me dr catherine pulaski saying three voyages improved i know she wouldn't do squat she is not good enough to be anywhere near me thinking about citing her, unless it's for a collection. Puppy Placate and Janeway, maybe. Uh, I think she would get some Voyagers, yeah. Barkley Nix probably would. Elnor probably wouldn't. Um, maybe the odd Romulan seat here and there, I'm not sure. Edward LaForge wouldn't. Um, and this is just for my roster. As it burn was, is like, it's a maybe. But this not worth putting, these are not worth putting sites on. Think about what you want from the game. Um, how you want to improve voyages is a better way of there is a better way of doing it which i will show you later um on one of the spreadsheets that you can look at um which gives you a little bit of a better rating than this uh this is a fringe case because i am quite um up to date let me look at the other account let's drag that back over here come back here um let's do the citation optimizer on this more Earlier account. So this is recommending Braxton first off. Yep, yep, I'll do that. Wouldn't do Guinan. Um, this makes a lot more sense for a younger account because it's pretty obvious, to be fair. Like, the crew they have here. Like, Reno, I would probably do... I would do Reno over Guinan. Like, that That makes no sense. I wouldn't cite Lonzac in this situation. Uh, Virtuoso Doctor, no. Mambo, maybe. Um, Honey Bear, I would. Honey Bear, I'd put a lot higher uh, than that. Caretaker, yeah. So... Um, there are also, look, there's some two-star crews. Solar Sail, Sail, Cisco, I'd put a lot higher for this roster. And Protomorphosis, Barkley. I've got more stars on them. Um, I know Proto would, would voyage more. I know Prophet Sarah Cisco would voyage a lot more. So this isn't, mm, this isn't great. This, this needs, this still needs to go back in the oven for a little bit. Because there, there are some certain, uh, 
certain things not quite right about it. It also tells you who you can train, who you should train, really. If, if I see, look, there we go, Voyages improved. Even if I just get up to five or five, ten of my Voyages have improved. Again, it's not entirely ac accurate. Um, I have 50 sites at the moment, but I want to do my 100-pack opening stream with you guys before I actually use them. Yes, you're more than welcome on. Get in contact, Cairo. Um, we will definitely do that with you. Um, let's go to collections. This is quite funky. Um, mm. This is another recent edition. Um, this shows all the collections. Uh, I might show this on my other account, actually. Let me pull up this one. Da -da -da. Collections, because it's a bit more... I'm a collection. I am a collection fiend. I have uh, many in-depth spreadsheets for collections and doing it the right way. But this is uh, this is a good quick um, overview of your current collection status. And there's a few cool little neat things in here that I quite like. So there's a tell you how many crew you've owned, where your progress is, how many you need to complete, how many crew you need, not necessarily how many stars, because that can be quite deceptive. You could need 12 crew, but you need five stars in every one of those 12 crew. It'll show you what rewards you'll be getting at the next tier as well and where we're up to. But if we look at acoustic vibrations, you can actually expand it uh, and get a lot more detail. Um, one of the things I like is if I was to immortalize this crew right now, um, I don't have Thalia. Oh no, it's because it's showing everyone. If I was to get Thalia and immortalize her right now, I would immediately get some rewards, which I kind of like that because you can think, oh, I get a little bonus if I cite them now may not always be the best choice to do that because that's the pet people collection pet people collections are eh, it's fine um but let's go show only own crew so yeah i have four crew in the in the acoustic vibrations collection that i i, I can see how far i am away and I'm, I'm fairly far away i won't be able to complete this collection because i still need uh 12 more crew but let's find out one i've got that i can max so i'm sure i've got one here somewhere I'm pretty sure. 16 crews. Is that stars or is that crew? Hang on a minute. That might be stars. I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I can get to a tier on original thinking. I know I can get to 200. So probably placated Janeway. Yeah, she's a pet. I can Red see. alarm. Oh. Red alarm. Oxymum Red Zero. alarm. Thank you for following. Stay for more informative content and also a load of bollocks we do. Um... Yeah, I can see uh, who who I've got here um, that uh, will fill this collection. What I do also like is it shows how many other collections they fill. So you can say, oh, wow, poor Queen Jurati. I should probably put that extra star on her because that does a lot of work for me. Um, Fanboy Boimler, definitely as well. Uh, second chance Laris. Oh, my God. Wow. Look at all these collections he fills. Like, that's a worthy couple of... That's better than a citation optimizer for me because I can see on two sites two, with two stars... I can put in quite a lot of work on other collections. Um, so this is this is really nice. There are some things I do wish they would, this would do. I am working on a sheet that hopefully, if I can get the maths right, um, will hopefully show you an order in which you should immortalize people to get the most amount of bonuses quickly. I haven't quite worked it out yet. Um, well, yeah, you can also toggle only show collections that you, uh, you can complete. No, don't show completed. Um, that's quite cool. Um, fleet boss battles. Uh, should I show on this account? Yes, I should show you on this account. Um, yeah, let's do this. So if you're in a fleet boss battle, uh, let's do Ultra Nightmare. This is this is godly. This is this is so good. Uh, if you are in the in process of wondering about um, what nodes to be completed, this will show you which crew to use. And there's a couple of pages here, and it will show you which ones to use. So I'm looking at this explore. We got three nodes left to do um, that haven't been done. Uh, what's this mean? Trial. Ambassador. Okay, right. I marked just tried. So, uh, you can basically send Spock off with this expology on the Starfleet on on your on your um, shuttles. Probably send Mud on there as well. Um, the color coding is really nice to identify which ones they would uh, they would solve. And then when when they do, you can come back and say, okay, Spock did it. Identify the traits solved by Spock. Uh, let's do those two, and it will knock them off the list. Uh, if you send them a go, no, it wasn't Mud, mm, wasn't Lashero. Ah, it must be these people. It can be only these ones. Hang on, let's say, wasn't Saru, and it wasn't Relax Number One. Has to be these three. Send off Cristobal Rios, Fifth Dimension Vader, and the Hansons. <laughs> um, Bob. On that, on that, um, off to that fleet boss battle. One of them is absolutely guaranteed bound here, unless you've cocked up somewhere. <laughs> but uh, you you basically update your uh, update you update the data core every time, and it will show you a fresh uh, fresh set of combos. 
it really is good. There is also Traveling Man Sheet, which is also really good. The advantage of that over this is you can work on it collaboratively. I know our fleet uses uh, Traveling Man's uh, fleet boss battle sheet as a shared resource so they can all go in and start knocking things off and say oh yeah i've done this one i've done this one they've done that one that's the kind of thing this can't really do you kind of have to do a bit of sort of um communication with the fleet and say right i'll knock this off you try that one you try that one whereas this, i find a shared sheet uh, a shared spreadsheet is much more useful for uh, just collaborative work and people can sort of all work on it together and it yeah it's nice but this is really good this is great you can also avoid view the current traits in the combo chain as well and i'll give you a little bit of a breakdown for the match the possibilities so you can already see with the ticks there what's what's to go um oh and there we go look combo helper chain another tool you can use to coordinate your fleet boss battle and you can copy the traits there and paste it in there so yeah a nice one already linking in with that so you know resources working together isn't it nice when everyone just cooperates and that's most of the really good stuff that the voyage uh data core can do um there's a few things like it will list your ships it'll list where you are on your functions oh hang on i've not got a few things tanked here ah i thought i had tanked everything apparently not um and it will give you yeah how long it takes to tank that certain faction if you don't know what tanking factions is go and talk to someone on a discord it was very worth doing uh that was factions items just show you all your items you've got there's no search on here, which I think it does need, but you can search for them in game, so it's not a huge problem. Unneeded items. Um, <laughs> I have quite a lot of ship schematics I don't use. Um, this is if you want to clear out your your inventory um, uh, because it, you can only hold a thousand. Uh, that's the ma maximum you can hold. Uh, you cannot get any more, and that's individual items, not total amount of items. Um, this will give you a kind of a list of things you can get rid of, so I can get rid of a load of uh, ships. Uh, of crew specific equipment their possibility you go through this with a bit of a tooth comb because i have found things in here and gone oh well this crew i don't have let's say i don't have tam elbram i do but uh, let's say i don't have him well i don't need his outfit but i might do so it might be worth holding on to and this is other equipment um again things like starfleet command uniforms or romulan science uniforms you might need them a little bit of grain of salt but it's it, it's a good sort of um, if anything, the ship schematics is worth uh, worth converting into replications or whatever, um, just to get your general head around where your items are. Um, there's other, which just basically just gives you an idea of how, much, how many missions you've completed, um, have you used your free, free basic reward, and at the very end you've got charts and statistics. And this will show you, I'm going to do this on the other one because otherwise this is just, um, looks a bit looks a bit better on this one. Uh, there we go. So uh, crew owned versus not owned versus not owned that are in the portal um, for all of different rarities. So I don't own 25 portal common crew. Um, this will show you your honor debt. Honor debt I'll get onto in a minute. Um, it is a fearful category. I think this, this calculates it wrong. I think this calculates it for all crew in the game, not for your roster. Um, but I could be wrong there because I haven't looked at my calculations for quite some time. Um, it, this 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 one is actually a really useful page as well. Um, tells you how many items you need from the various factions. So this character needs 634 items from the Section 31 factions, which tells you that you should be tanking Section 31. <laughs> it is to get all crew. Okay, yeah. No, that needs to be tweaked to uh, your own roster because mm, fuck that noise. Um, and this one at the bottom here just tells you how many items you need to level up all your crew. So you'll find you'll need 1,403 databases um, or 202 isolinear chips. So you can start to get yourself a little of a planning, uh, start planning for various like skirmishes. Uh, we'll keep following, watching for a break. Oh, thank you very much, Oxy o -X -E -M -U -C -O. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Um, a little toggle here exclude any order already fulfilled if you have uh, already equipped that item. Um, or already have enough of that item to uh, grip a crew to a certain level, it will just exclude them. So this is probably a more accurate way. 157 three-star poly allies. Ishka's issues on Epic. Get you all of those you ever need. Start ad warping. Ad warping is godly for super rare items. Um, so yeah, that, that's useful. So you can kind of get an idea of how many, how many stupid amounts of items you need, and it is a lot. It's more than you think. And you kind of got your skill coverage here, um, which is... Yeah, it's it's a fun little infographic. Don't really know how useful it is, but it's interesting. <laughs> um, you can see I'm lacking in a lot of medicine on this account. Um, I wonder what it shows on my main account. Let's have a look. 
uh, charts and stats. Oh, we're already on it. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, you can see on my main account, I need 8,000 databases. <clears throat> Ouch. Ooh, that's not good. Um, oh, I'm also lacking in med on this account. So yeah, that's, that's a little bit deceptive um, because I know my account has quite a lot of medical superstars. In total of the game, there is not that many medical crew. So it's, this isn't as if your roster is lacking med. The game is lacking med. Um... <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, so yeah, this is every this is your roster. This is every crew in the vault. So yeah, and number stars for your super rares and legendary crews, um, and your skill distribution of you know what dipset crew you have. What yeah, you know this is this is okay. It's there. There is a better way of you viewing all this information, which I'm going to show you, um, and it's called Captain Idols data core analysis spreadsheet. Now we're getting into spreadsheet territory. So yeah, use the data core uh, for voyages. Use it to plan your events, use it to your retrievals, and use it for your fleet boss battles, have a look at your collections. Um, you know, it is a testament to how bad the UI for the game is um, that it doesn't show you this information at, at front. Like, you can just go, oh, it's a silly little mobile game, but there is a lot of data hidden underneath all of just all of this that is really essential. Um, for example, we could do a better sorting here, like just being able to sort by base proficiency and combined like combined skill is deceptive but com combined is base plus the maximum so it's the biggest skill you've got which is not really useful for anything not in voyages because voyages is the average so hmm. anyway let me introduce you to captain idol's data core analysis sheet um 5.7 currently there are a few little flaws on it but this is a very good way of... Um, I built this to basically get more information about what my account was doing and what I could do to improve it. I literally built this for myself in like a sheet and then I thought, actually, no, this could. no one else has done this. Let's, let's be useful. Um, I will go through how to, to import the data on this because you wouldn't believe how many times people get this wrong um, and how many emails I've had about this. Um, so... Back on your, I'll, up, I'll up my da, update my data call. We'll do it from this one. So when you're back on here, on any page, doesn't matter. We'll go back to Voyage. Um, ooh, five hours, 15, fantastic. Up here, you've got uh, a few options. We're last imported at 1600. That's fairly recent. Um, we've got this export option here. You'll export download to CSV. Um, don't worry about what that means. Just do it. You can also copy it to clipboard um, in the Google Sheets format. I like to keep a copy in case something goes wrong. So download your CSV uh, and over here, diddly diddly diddly, we go, we'll update my data core because I haven't actually done this for a little while. So, no, tell you what, we'll start a fresh sheet. We'll start a fresh one. So if you're on the forums, go to the forums. Uh, in the ready room is where all the kind of player tools are. Uh, have a look down. We'll get onto my voyage analysis sheet momentarily. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, data core analysis sheet. Uh, go on here. Go to the first page. Don't go there. Um, find somewhere in this mess of uh, text that I've put out. Click here to go to the sheet. <laughs> and we will go to the sheet. We will leave the Wicked Realm Games forum. Sayonara. Now, I get a lot of people trying to get edit access to this because they haven't read step one. I get so many people like emails just going, why are you not giving me edit access? I can't edit. I'm like... Read the instructions! <laughs> Just read them. Please. Um, file. Make a copy. You will make a copy to your own Google Drive. So we will do make a copy. Call it whatever you like. This stupid dumb sheet. Um, there's an app script file in it. I need to remake this whole thing. Ignore that. Uh, make a copy. I didn't even know I had an app script on there. It shows how often I do this. Wait for it to uh, wait for it to just do its little copying thing. Take a little while. Get a cup of tea. Have a sip of your beer. Hopefully this will work and not crap out like the last time I did it. And Google will just go, no, I'm not doing that. There we go. We're in it. So this is now your sheet. You can do whatever you like to this. You can just take the whole freaking thing and hit delete. Do what you like, but don't do that because um, <laughs> it won't work. This is the front page, so this tells you what to do. Um, this is version history, special thanks, and a few other resources. We'll get over to this section in a moment, but what you want to be doing is heading down to this little section here. Oh, you can't see it because my face is in the way. Let me remove my face temporarily. Coming down here to this tab called the data core input. We'll put that there, and we'll put me back on the screen. Hello! Um, this looks blank. This should look blank. That's absolutely fine because we've put 
no information in. Nothing's gone in yet. That CSV file we downloaded earlier, we're going to take that and we're going to go File, Import, we're going to Upload, we're going to select a file, we're going to go to Crew 5, and we're going to upload it. Now when you get to this screen, you want to go to Replace Current Sheet. Do not create a new spreadsheet, that will replace the whole thing. Do not want to do that. Go Replace Current Sheet, sheet Replace the Sheep, and also Replace the Sheet, uh, and Import the Data. Now this is going to take all the data from your data core and pop it into this sheet where we can do a little bit more analysis. Now, hopefully that worked. Did it work? Bingo, there we go. Now it's going to do a little bit of calculation. Let it do its thing um, for a moment. Um, and it's going to crunch some numbers and think about what's going on. Um, this is all outlined here as well. Um, even the step eight, go make a cup of tea, which I put that there because I had to have 10 um, <laughs> 10 steps and I didn't like having nine steps so I said go make a cup of tea but while <laughs> but, hey here's one I prepared earlier <laughs> uh, is this the one I prepared earlier no this isn't this is the one I prepared earlier um, yeah replace this sheet with my good stuff absolutely yeah um, while that is importing as well put in your stats uh, your sorry your collection and star base bonuses this will become important later. Um, it's vitally important that you get this exactly as it is in the game um, because it'll make things accurate. If you want to find out where this data is in the game, again, this is so stupidly hidden and it's so important. Um, click your little face up here and it will ask you to select your avatar. Once it's loaded, I'm going to think about it. There we go. Click active buffs and it will show you what you've got here. Um, obviously, this is quite a newbie account. Um, do I not have any proficiency bonuses on this account? Wow. And if you click it, you see you've got 2% psi base, 4% um, diplomacy uh, base. Um, if you have, you will have diplomacy and all these skills as proficiency bonuses as well. I don't on this account. I don't know why it doesn't show it. Does it show all buffs? Yeah, it does. Um, you'll get a little sort of dice icon that'll show you what the proficiencies are. Fill those all in. You can even actually click them. And see what the maximum value is of your interest. So I've got four of thirty-three. Hmm. This this crew this crew should join a fleet. Um, so fill them all in there as they are accurate to a game. I actually don't think this is update for myself. Um, what if I had this crew? We'll get onto that later. We'll have a look at that in a bit later. So let's hop over to the. Actually, is this one finished? This one? No, it's not finished. Calculator. We'll we'll carry on with this one. We'll ignore that. We don't need that one anymore. That was just an example how to import. Um, head on over to overview. So this will give you a rough overview of everything in your roster. Nothing too, nothing too detailed at this time. Um, just a little bit of sort of, a um, little bit of trivia about your crack, about your crew. I've got 486 legendaries. I've got 794 immortals. It will take me 33 years to clear my honor debt. <laughs> to, if I just use honor to buy sites, uh, my cron debt. It's not too bad actually. 642,000 crons. Uh, I'll show you what the rarity is. Uh, I've got, you know, 48 percent. 5 star, 47% 4 star, 3.8% 3 star, and the 2s and 1s are so inconsequential it doesn't even show up. Um, where your stats, you know, who's got, you got the most stats? I've got the most amount of dip, but again, this is a bit deceptive because you might have a lot of really shit dip, but one really good one. Or I might have a lot, every single one of those med crew might be bangers, um, but like one might not be. So, you know, I might have a lot of strength here and not here, so it's, it's not too... It's more a kind of curious curiosity of like, oh, that's interesting, I've got 14.6% science crew. Wow, great, wonderful. Uh, and crew frozen ratio, I've got 647 frozen crew, 342. Not crows, not frozen. And if you're looking at crew slots and you think maybe I ought to um, freeze a few people, it's going to get a bit tight soon. Oh dear. Hmm. So, moving down. Uh, base stats. Uh, you can see who's got the top base skills for each command, dip, sex, sci, eng, med. Again, it's a curiosity. You know, you can see this move for fun. Uh, Demon Man Scotty is a recent addition of mine. I swear this is just going to all fill up with TOS crew at some point. It seems to be going that way. And same with the super rares as well. Um, you can see your best active voyagers, your, basically your top six voyagers at the moment, and your best uh, uh, gauntlet crew um, at the moment. So I've got, yes, I've got Frantic McCoy. He's so good. Um, you can see the scores of your skilled pairs. Again, this isn't too accurate. This is more curiosity. Um, 
Uh, actually, I don't think this is entirely accurate either. I need to look at this. I need to remake this, this sheet. That's one of my next plans is to redo this. Ignore that. Worst scoring level 100 voyagers. Um, if you need to airlock someone. Oh, 1001. Ooh, only got 719 voyage score. Maybe I'll airlock them. Um, but bear in mind, grain of salt. People like Bones McCoy top um med base same with Devonman scotty with the engineering so yeah maybe um think about who you're actually airlocking again another curiosity who are the most variants you've got i've got 27 picards and 23 spocks fascinating 12 sevens cool um best potential voyages i need to remake that that's not accurate um top gauntlet pairs um you can see command dip is frantic mccoy command Sai armus just shows you who's your best in your pairs in gauntlet so I've also put in a little voyage calculator in here as well, if you wanted to have a play. Um, this is based on some very old code. Um, I'll have a little thing, hang on. Let it have his think. Come on, wakey wakey. I need a new computer. No, is it going to work? And it'll give you an estimated voyage time. Which, yeah, it's fine. Fill those out as you need to. Um, or just use the data core. The data core is better. I'm probably going to strip this out in the next version. Um, because it's pointless. It was just there to see if I could do it. <laughs> uh, and there's to show you your top shuttle pairs and your top voyage pairs. Again, it's an overview of your account. You can watch this move and change as you update your roster over time. Um, something else that's broken that I am in process of fixing is this collection tab. Um, yeah, it, it's, it needs updating drastically. Um, I have There's been a collection expansion. I coded it really badly. And like some really convoluted code that I want to... Um, fix so that will probably be in the next version moving on to the actual useful stuff so the uh, honor and cron debt so honor debt is how much honor it would take to finish every single crew in the game so and by honor we mean paying honor 50,000 honor for a site in the honor hall which you shouldn't do ever save it and wait for sites but if you're a sadist and you want to know how long it's going to take you uh, this will be the honor hall the cost to complete how many stars you have to fill how many you've got um, and this one, which is editable, you can put this down to 2,000 or whatever, uh, how much honour per day you think you earn, um, so it'll be more or less, and it will tell you how long it's going to take down here, so it's going to take 37 years, 5 months, and 10 days, <laughs> which, yeah, grain of salt on that one, don't be a, gotta catch them all with this game. Um, more useful though, it counts for, uh, it counts uncommon, rare, and super rare crews, which is a little bit more of a, if you're getting sites, or you are uh, got that few crew that you just want to um, site up, you know, and it'll tell you, you know, seven months to do all my super rare crew. A little bit more achievable. Don't do it, but it is achievable. Um, and cron hub <laughs> again the same thing for chronotons um this is the average cron cost this was based off of um izzy's crew cost calculator website who calculated the averages for uh, average cron cost for every crew in the game unfortunately that's shut down about a year ago um so these aren't entirely accurate but you can edit to them to what you think the average cost is which they're probably still applicable i would say yeah about 7k crons for a legendary 1, 1k for a for a common you know it might be a bit less depending on how many items if you're a massive farmer of items you might think well it only cost me 2,000 crons to well, let's let's just say you know it only cost me about 2,000 crons to uh do a legendary so it will change the price down here and it will give you the calculations for if you have a kit or if you don't have a kit active which if you don't know what the kit is you go here you get boosts and kits and you equip some of these and you can equip many of them at once if you want to do and it will stack up it will stack up you can if you have 365 of them you've got a whole year's worth of cheap deals fan uh, cheap chronoton costs as it were um so yeah you, you could tweak that as you like and get a sort of a rough cron cost and the total will be like if i have a kit 149,000 chronotons that's that's achievable completely inaccurate but achievable <laughs> i'm basically going through this whole thing saying this is all broken but no they're, they're, the good stuff is coming the good stuff's coming um this is a breakdown of all your crew this is kind of similar to what data core does um you've got some sorts you can sort by variation uh by voyage rank by gauntlet of rank um so forth so forth so forth it's literally just a, a list of your crew um nothing too specific but it's there if you need it i was thinking about removing it but i remember asking people and they said no we want to keep it i'm like okay fine very fine hmm. you want it it's there it doesn't it doesn't cost me anything to keep it in cost google it doesn't cost me anything um okay now we're starting to get onto the interesting stuff that the game won't tell you here's the, here's what wrg won't tell you doctors hate him um this is the top skill sets uh, of your roster 
Um, and this is the overview. This isn't any of the detailed stuff. Uh, on the left here, we have shuttle crews. I may even tell you it's maximum stat plus the 25 of the minimum stat. Wait a minute. Why did I say that? That's inaccurate. Um, I don't think it calculates that. I think it calculates just the base stat. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, why am I doing that? I think I need to change that. This this, this is this is correct. The calculation is correct, but I don't know why I wrote that. Um, because that's not right. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, this will basically show you for command set, command dip, command side, command eng, and further on for every skill every skill pair combination in the game will show you your top 10 people in that area for bases it's not too important for voyage crews it's much more important um so i can see on command sec up here since picard is my best command sec but i could also see some of the better ones so if at the time you competed in the mega and you were thinking infect a trial of scott should i put a sight on her my advice would be no but you can get kind of a vague idea of how good she would be uh or once you've once you have immortalized her she will pop up here uh, and you can see like how she ranked after the site um going down let's just have a quick look at some of the other skills med is always a difficult one med eng especially um i can see white rabbit is my second best eng med i never use him because his traits don't line up he's got trash traits but um you know, if you are in that position where he is the only engine med crew you get, you got, you can see where he'd la where he'd rank, and you can see some more in-depth scores there, which aren't again. I'm going to remove these from the next version because they're not entirely useful. Um, so yeah, you can kind of get a good top ten of your your skill pairs, which is important for voyages when you're stacking the primary and secondary skill. Oh my god, my mouth is going so dry. Mm. Okay, I'm easing you in gently here because we're now we're going to start getting into the complicated data. Oh, we're not already there yet. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. We will get there. Um, this shows your Voyage roster for your account, not entirety of the game, for your account. Who is your best Voyager? Mine is Vidala Elder. It shows you their score. Um, you can go down. It shows you their data core rank, which I don't even know what that means anymore. DC rank? Why did I say DC rank? Need to change that. Uh, and it'll show you the individual scores for those as well. And you can sort of go down as far. It'll even show you who's been frozen. So, wow, Mira Saru? Voyager number 46 for me? Still frozen? Maybe ought to get him back out. I don't know. Maybe that's not entirely appropriate. Rescue team in Uhura. On the right here, you have potential crew. Now, this is where uh, filling out your... Sorry, in the intro, filling out your um, bonuses is uh, important because this will show you who you have on your roster um, that you haven't leveled yet that could be good. So I can see down here, ah, Dupla Emissary, 3 of 5. Here's actually 5 of 5 now. I haven't updated this since. Um, wow, if I got him, if I cited him up to 5 of 5, he'd be my 7th best um, Voyager. Wow, where is Dupla Emissary now? Let's have a quick... Control F search. Dupla emissary is at 262. Oh my gosh, wow. No, I'd better sight and level him straight away. And actually, not a bad shout with someone this high. Yeah, definitely sight and level them up. Admiral Mark Jameson, number 14. I've only got one star. Is it worth me putting four more stars on him? Kind of up to decide. But this kind of gives you the idea of like what your voyage uh, ranks could look like um, if you had everyone fully fused. And immortalized, you know, in Subordinate Mariner's quite high up there. Uh, Lucon, Lucon, I should probably do quite urgently. First Officer Una, you know, quite high up in in the rankings. Now this will become important, um, and there's there's full Gauntlet rank as well, which does the same thing pretty much for Gauntlet. But um, Big Book App is oops, Big Book App's Gauntlet page is all you need for Gauntlet. <laughs> really, don't worry about. I'm, again, I'm probably going to remove uh, oops, remove this. Um, in favour of this because the big book is just much better for Gauntlet because it gives you much more better detail and the Gauntlet rank is misleading. Um, yeah, I thought about citing Jameson, but he's got a common skill set. He's Command Dip Sec, which I'm going to show you in a moment. I'm going to skip shuttle pair data. I'm going to go over to voyage pair data um, and I'll tell you why I'm probably not going to cite Jameson. Ooh. So we have... Uh, a column for every skill set and a darker column for every skill set as well. So you've got your your roster here. So let's have a look at command sec. Um, I can see who are the best command sec voyage crew that I have. And on the right, I can see potential. Who are the best potential command sec crew that I have? Why is Vargas that high? That's terrible. He's a two skiller. But I can see here that Vargas would be my number two command sec uh, if I sighted him. Beware of voyage pairs. 
There is a reason you should not look at voyage pairs too closely. Um, always consider the uh, triplet in there. Voyage pairs will include two skiller crew. Two skillers are no good um, for voyagers. Uh, do not even take them on voyagers. Do not consider that. Once you, and again, I think on the next version of this sheet, I'm going to put a little sort of disclaimer and a little highlight to say, no, don't take it. It's a two skiller. Don't do it. Um, but looking at a more rare pairs, it might, where do I struggle? I struggle with Cyan Eng uh, a fair amount. So I can see here my Cyan Eng here, um, Hollow Engineer Zimmerman, ooh, JG Palmer. I mean, I love her, but like, yeah, two skiller, two skiller, two skiller, and then Emery Erickson. Um, if we go over to potential, I can see that actually if I sighted up Lucon, he would be my number two. Worthy sight. I struggle with Cyenge. I know that's a weak point in my roster. So let me, yeah, I, wow, I should sight up Lucon. Wow, why am I not doing it already? Holy moly. Um, that's that's important. Uh, Engemed, I've actually done pretty well on this one. Uh, let's have a look. I'm actually pretty hot on sighting people that I need to be. Okay, so yeah, dip Eng. Yeah, Lucon, absolutely. I, I should do, really. Um, <laughs> JG Palmer is better than Jameson. She is not. It is deceptive. Beware of two skillers. I always say that. Um, Dip Eng, Adiratol. Well, I got her done, but uh, Racco Purple Prime is my second. He's very good, but actually, Barclay and Neelix might be worth me putting that extra star on. Uh, I'm just getting another Dip Eng. Whether, you know, Racco Ball vo uh, voyages for me fairly often. Barclay, I think it's safe to say that Barclay would definitely, uh, definitely voyage. Um, shuttle pair data is exactly the same thing as voyage pair data, but probably more useful because you only send shuttles in pairs. Um, so you can see, like, if you wanted to overall kind of improve your um, uh, your Simed shuttles, if you get them, they don't appear often, but you do. I just think, oh, wow, I should say it's Hugh Culber. Generally don't, um, but up to you. I'm not going to tell you not to. Now I've introduced you to that, this is the sheet you should be looking at. Voyage triplets. Voyage triplets. Oh, Barclay Neal has got your 12 hour. Congratulations. There you go. If there's any sighting endorsement, there it is. Yes, voyage triplets take all three skills. Uh, so Command Dip Psy, um, do do do, uh, Dip Sec Eng. Any combination of those skills is considered in here. Um, so we can have a look at, so we've got the same thing, we've got a skill and we've got potential. What could be if I had them fully sighted and fully equipped? So let's look at, I mean, you can see how dry some skills are. Like Command Edge Med is like, there's nothing there. Your only option is Mountain Climber Mayweather. And he's not even that great. Um, but let's see where I can improve myself. Mm, where can I improve myself? This is such a bad idea. Okay, we're going to go back to Lucon again. Sci Sec Engineering. My top one is EV Suit Spock. I can't think the last time I used EV Suit Spock. Um, but I've got already two candidates that are better in score that are probably worth me citing, actually. Lucon and Tactical Oh, God, I'm going to have to cite Lucon today, aren't I? <laughs> it's going to have to be done. So Lucon um, definitely will need to be put up. But you can see already how... Um, putting this data in from the data core into this into the sheet that I have designed um, will improve your roster because you already can see I can already see shit I should be citing Luke on um, uh, unfortunately I haven't got a sheet that looks worse than this I should have one that's more imbalanced to show the differences but you will see if you load it on yours you might see like oh there we go triple herder Scotty for command sec eng uh, actually better than Rathal Kirk I was using Rathal Kirk on a voyage recently I was like why um so, yeah, it will give you a balance. You might think, oh, hang on, this person's the best one. Why have I not sized a Braxton before? Oh, my gosh, I should totally do that now. And actually, I think that of, of all the sheet, this is, sorry, um, this is the most most useful one. Um, and it gives you the best option to look at various points in your roster. Um, I've really been talking for over an hour. Wow. I should play some games after this. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, the next one's fun collections. Um this is just me having a bit of a bit of fun with collections that could be i need to update this this needs to be um uh, i think i haven't done this for a long time but if there were if there was a collection for an nx01 enterprise collection or the ds9 bridge crew collection i popped them all in here and i've done so many too many cooks who people with a chef collection anyone in section 31 uh lessons in love you know little fun ones if you've got any suggestions for ones to put in there let me know because when i update when i do update this and i'm going to make that one of my next jobs 
I'm going to put in more fun collections. One thing I've even done, and I'm so insane for doing this, I wish I kind of hadn't, but I've now got to do it. I've done episode collections, so every episode in the get in Star Trek um, has a collection based on what crew there are in the game. It's not up to date. I need to I need to go through it. I haven't think I haven't done it for about six months or so. Um, so space seed collection, you know, or you could definitely, you know, you could definitely see, uh, let's say a, it's one in DS9 they can do, they could definitely do a you are cordially invited, uh, collection, or Cal Hire Cisco, definitely, um, you could have, you know, because there are, there's eight crew in there, you know, they could have fun collection, year of hell collection, so many crew from the year of hell, uh, or the killing game, definitely, you know, it's, it's shocking how many individual episode, uh, collections there are. In a mirror darkly, the Vulcan Hello has so many crew in it. And despite yourself and the Wolf Inside, um, the Mirror Universe Two Parter has quite a lot. Of, you know, I did this for fun. It's it's fun to do, and you can go. Oh, I collect everyone from Prey. Fantastic! I collect everyone from Worst Case Scenario. Uh, you don't sound like that. I sound like that. So you know, no, no shame. And at the end, you can just see traits, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Is it going to work? Is it going to calculate? No, no. I need to. Fit. This is broken. I'm going to show you something that's fixed. I'm going to show you something that does work. I'm going to show you Captain Idol's Voyage um, analysis sheet. So this is uh, this came from me going, well, hang on. Who do I use on a voyage the most often? Despite anything the data course says, despite anyone anything of, you know, what who is the top voyager or who has the best stats, who am I using? Like, who should I be freezing? In a time when crew slots were quite... Um, hard to come by who should i be using um so again how to use exactly the same import your data core analysis stuff into here um but the caveat is most of this is manual information so remember when i said back on the voyage page ah oh, here we go it says down here captain idols voyage analysis sheet pro tip use the sheets keep track of your voyages and run times and you can copy the details and you can copy the details of your current voyage and paste them into here and it will paste uh, in, compatible so you just need to go to the first cell and paste it on so every voyage you do and i know it sounds like hard work but god it is so worth it um it literally made my game a lot better uh me doing this uh paste your or even type it out manually i do it manually skill order date and that is iso standard dates just so there's no arguments um the time is estimated don't worry about finish or anti-matter it's just if you want to track that later and the crew you used in the order that you used it or even not it doesn't even need to be an order they can just be the crew that you used and i'm going to show you why this is so good because this will give you a breakdown of when you used crew who you were using who you are not using and how often you are using them it is so good so you can automatically see on the left here there's a few things down here we're going to go for every we're going to track every voyage i've ever sent since 2021 um so this is voyage all every crew i've ever sent so you can see on the left here five of five crew who have never voyaged i know that these crew have never been on a voyage in their single life uh romulan picard has never been he is unfrozen he should be frozen trelane maybe has some gauntlet use but it should probably freeze him falcon o'brien oh my god big base but what do i care um obviously people like gangster spock professor uh, professor sato take Taco Mayweather, boss battles, Balok, yeah, he's he's gauntlet. There are some ifs and buts on here, but yeah, people like Infector Trial Scott, maybe I should uh, freeze. And that's already shown me I can save a couple of crew slots. Real savings for you! Um, <laughs> uh, and then it will show you this next one. Voyage is not on any top 12 list. I'm going to tell you what a top 12 list. Over here, this will show you your voyages that you've sent. So I'll show you your times and your things. Don't put anything in here. This will all be reference from this sheet here from the input tab uh for the voice sorry i realize you can't see at the bottom of the screen it'll come obvious when you do it um this this automatically fills out from the, the data that you fill in so don't change anything here but this shows you uh your average time so i'm command dip i'm getting 11 29 that's pretty decent shows you all the different combinations don't worry about that because this section here um shows you um who you're using most the top 12 of people you are using on these voyages. So Lieutenant Sahil on Command Dip Cruisers, I am using the most of. Fencing Picard, I'm using I've used him seven times in, in the existence of how long I've been tracking this. And this does this for every single skill pair in the game. One thing I should mention, when you are filling in data on this, command sec and sec command are two different things. I know previously on other sheets I combined them on this one. 
if you get command sec, you fill out command sec. If you get set command, you fill out set command. Um, and just to give you a little bit more, um, what's the word? A bit more fidelity, a bit more uh, uh, going through the fine tooth comb, you know, you can get a bit more data from it. So I can see here on EngDip, Adiris Hal, my top EngDip, Voyager, fantastic. And this this is this isn't statistics, this isn't um who could be useful. This is who is useful in my roster. I have been using Adira Tal ten times. I've used Racketball O'Brien ten times on Eng Dip Voyagers. That tells me I should they should be nowhere near a freezer. I need to use them a lot. Um uh, let's have a look. Medeng, Medeng, Dexa, Indulgent 7, Medic Reno. Dr. Van Gogh, not used as much, but he's on this list. And I, I believe everyone on at least the top 12 um, is very, you know, a very good Voyager. So when we come back here to Voyagers not on any top 12 list, this means they are not in any of these, any of these uh, skill combinations in the top ranks, in the top 12 at all. So I can see the Age of Sail Riker is not there. Now, one thing I'm going to do in a future version is I'm going to tweak this to Unfrozen. Um, because at the moment this counts Frozen Crew, which is obviously they're not there. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I can see Frantic McCoy. Uh, I Oh, Frantic McCoy? My God, I just got him. He's not on any top 12 Voyagers, but you have a date of when they last used them. So I can actually see, well, Frantic McCoy, I, yeah, I got, I used him last on the, on the 18th of this month. So that's actually only 11 days ago. I will probably use him again. Plaric Janeway as well, and it's color code as well, so you can actually see um, when you last used them. So data V or data the fifth. I've not used him since God, Jesus, 2021, September of 2021. That tells me I need to freeze him. I need to get rid of him. I don't need to use him anymore. Bring him out for the events. He's no good. Ball Queen. I think I do still have her on Frozen. I've not used her since February, um, and even when she was used, if we just do a quick. Uh, more queen just do a quick search through the document i can see where i last used her and they can see oh look i just used her a command edge voyage back a oh there we go you last used her there um goat scapegoat scapegoat let's have a look scapegoat o'brien he's 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 what top he's one of my top ones yeah he's been used um yeah scapegoat's quick i use so uh, next column count of all voyages now this is just a count of how many voyages they have been on um over lifetime so 146 voyages for captain braxton yeah no surprise there through the entirety lifetime of my game of well that i've been tracking it he's been on 146 view of voyages i used him today um but you can go down um go further down and say right at the bottom the keeper i used last in 2021 went on one voyage now this is every single voyage in the game um there are some filters coming up so you can tweak the data and then count of top 12s who features on the most amount of top 12 lists so how many times does braxton feature on these lists down here well he's on 24 uh top 12 voyages fence picard is on 20 of them i mean even like getting on about six or seven of them is still really good so like dr van gogh you saw he was low on the med edge but he is on six other uh top 12 lists which you know speaks volumes about their use even if even if you think oh the statistics statistics aren't great um if you're using them they're good <laughs> that's kind of how i look at it hmm. and again this is color coded one looking here stranded quark is on four but i've not used him in a little while i've not used him since uh, early early september um which in the game terms isn't that far isn't that long ago um because skill pairs when you when you start a voyage you could see command dip voyages for about three months and then see a med eng voyage and then see nothing but sec eng for ages so mm, relative but you can kind of get an idea of the the pitches and the drops honey bear jadzia last used in february she is still on one top 12 but because i haven't used her um since february chances are she's probably in on, on the way out She's probably, you know, she's probably leaving my service very soon. Um, yeah, so that's the overall. Now, if you wanted to filter it between certain dates, we've got a date. Cork went missing for a while, yeah, and then a few in a row. It's funny how that happens. So you can actually filter by date. So I want to look at, um, let's go, and this is ISO time, uh, which means year, month, date. I want to go from, let's go from uh, January to uh to tomorrow yeah there we go so i'll give it a little think shouldn't take too long we'll have a link think 
And there we go. So I can see uh, everything I've used, every crew I've used in 2022. So we're ignoring all the 2021 voyages, we're now looking at purely at 2022. And this is customizable. You can do date from, date to. Pick any dates you want. Um, we'll have a look at something a bit more random in a minute. Uh, and again, it shows you all the same things. Who's not on a top 12? Uh, Pathfinder Uhura is still not on a top 12 year list. I know I've been using her quite a lot though. Um, and again, that's where you can say she's not on a top 12 list, but I did use her today. Same with Wrathful Kirk. I used him today. So um, I know I can I can see by the color coding here that still quite useful. Leonardo da Vinci, uh, mm, not used him for quite some time. Um, he, he's now not on a top 12 list, which suggests to me that he is now on his way out probably a candidate for freezing for myself at some point. Um, let's do something a bit crazier. Let's just pick the last month. Uh, let's just do October. Let's just do all of October. Uh, give that a minute. Ooh. Now you'll notice there are definitely a lot less. There are some skill pairs that haven't been filled at all. Um, but I can see, oh look, things look a little bit different. I used Lieutenant Commander Spock 21 times. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, where's Braxton? Braxton has dropped quite a lot, actually. Braxton has dropped 13 times. But then again, this is just the last amount of month. The small time scale is quite inaccurate. You kind of want to get yourself at least six months in there just so you can fill all the skill slots. But you can kind of get a bit of fun. You can have a bit of fun with it, with this mode. Um, let's do... Uh, 06, 01. Let's go from... No, let's go a bit further back. Let's go from April. Um, and this could be a bit more indicative of what you are using. So, yeah, here we go. So, um, Kalhai Bashir. Look, not on the top 12 list. He's starting to go down. Reverend Flox. Last use on the 12th, maybe. Zenghi Riker is on his way out, I think, at this point. You know, last use on the 24th of June. Um, I can see Spock is definitely on the top there. Brax is still there. Um, Midway, Indulgence 7. Um, yeah, it's, this is this is fun. Now, the next one is a little bit more of a broad stroke. And this is probably the one I use the most op I use them most often and this is how many re how many recent voyages in each skill pair so this means you're not excluding any skill pair which means so I am I'm choosing to have five so I will have the last five voyages that I did in each skill pair oh my god I haven't even done that many I've not even done five dip edge voyages wow um <laughs> that's crazy um so you'll see the last five oh I even done med dip that's crazy the last five uh, voyages that I've done. So this kind of gives you a bit more of an accurate look at who you're using the most often. Um, so I can see, yeah, I've used Spock 99 times. Boar Queen, not used in ages. Vice Admiral Janeway, I've not used since April. And this is on the last five voyages. You can change this to whatever you like. So I can say the last eight voyages. So change that to eight. It has a little thinky through. And Locutus comes up there. Obviously, I'm not freezing Locutus, but Eden Pike. So you can kind of get a bit more look. You can even go crazy and say one <laughs> and just go some real dumb statistics that are not good for anyone. But it's fun to look at and to get this. So last, so the last voyage in every skill pair in the game, uh, Commander Spock 26 times. Wow. Um, oh, and there we go. Look, no top, tw no voyages not on any top 12 list. Um, so yeah, but no, I like five. Five is my favourite. Uh, it's kind of like a broad stroke of your most recent voyages for each skill pair, and it's it's a good way of sort of looking at who is the most useful for what. Now, the even more the, this this one was the reason I wanted to do this. You can do a comparison. You can compare two different dates against each other and see who has risen and who has fallen between each date. And this is my favourite part. This is. This is kind of dumb, but also kind of useful. Um, excuse me while I just top up my beer. She pours well. There we go. Hmm. This is pure hilarious data because um, uh, this can compare your crew you use between a from one date to another date. So we've got dates A and date B. So date A, and this one I've start from January to March. Uh, January to March. Date B is April to June. So they're roughly the same amount of time, which is kind of what you want to do. You want to keep them even. If you sort of mismatch them or if they're different, uh, you'll get 
inaccurate results like you'll be comparing one month to four months which won't make any sense at all so you kind of want to keep them even you can compare one year to the next year you could compare one month to the next month or, or and, and so on and so forth i think I've, I've done it for about three months do it for about six months whichever you want but you can see on day a here i was using fencing picard it was on 34 of all voyages 17 top 12s and so forth on date b I can say, oh, it's using Lieutenant Elgarman much more. She's, and you can see movement of the crew. So fencing Picard, he actually lost eight voyages in that time, and he lost a top twelve pair. Um, whereas Enterprise Pike came up, he actually gained ten, but he wasn't voyaging as well. He was somewhere around here. I don't know where he was, but yeah, be somewhere around here. And over on this side here, you can see in in these two comparisons who lost and who gained the most amount of voyages. So I can see between you know January and June, human Saru, human Saru, human <laughs> human Saru lost nine voyages. Scapegoat O'Brien lost five top twelve pairs. Enterprise Pike rocketed up, absolutely shot up. Um, excuse me, real dry throat right now. Um, 2024 Picard, you know, we rocketed up. So you can actually generally see the history of your own voyages and who's coming up and who's coming down. I find this so fascinating. It's so geeky. It's ridiculous. Let's change the dates to... Let's go from June to August. Uh, because, yeah, we're at, the name, we're at the end of October now. How many dates in August? How many days are in August? <laughs> 10, 31, right. And then we can go to... Uh, Da, 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 09, 01 of September to the end of October. Oh no, that's one day. I need to go from July, don't I? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Sorry. 10, 31. Bear in mind, I've still got to send a voyage in the next couple of days. Let's just change that to 07, 01. And again, this is all based on the data you input. It won't get it for you. You do have to spend some time putting all this data in, but it's so worth it. So I can see from uh, in June to August and from September to October... So Lieutenant Command Spock in the first ones I used him 49, 49 times. In the second second dates I used him 44 times. So he moved down a bit and he lost a top 12 pair. But part, obviously I got Pathfinder Hura in that time. So she's probably nipped a few of the pairs of, that he had uh, and a few of the voyages that he had. And again, it's all color coded. You can see, see who moved and who lost. Scapegoat O'Brien keeps losing voyages. Uh, Enterprise Pike lost a few. But again, I got Pathfinder. It's a smaller set of data as well. <coughs> um, so you'll probably see a lot more movement a lot more variance definitely doesn't mean scapegoat O'Brien is crap it just means that during that time i didn't get the skills he was good for um but if we look at something a bit more drastic we'll look at 2021 versus 2022 which will be very drastic um but i just love playing with this i really do it's just the nerd in me talking uh, what are we doing on? We'll do for 20, 20, there we go. I'll just have a little think. So, broad strokes now, uh, looking at 2021 versus 2022. Bear in mind, my 2021 data is mostly incomplete. Um, you know, Braxton, 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 Braxton is all Braxton. Uh, he gained 92 voyages in 2022. Well, that, that's a factor of just me logging more data. That's not a case of he was better. I mean, he is really good, but it wasn't a case of he was better. He was just getting more Voyager. Same with Fencing Picard. I got him in 2022 or 2021, late 2020, 2021, and he just voyaged all the time. But you can, you know, it, it, it it's the data that you want to give it. Um, there, that That's pretty much my Voyage calculator. Uh, the Voyage calculator, the data core analysis sheet, the data core itself, it's all out there. It's all worth using. Bigbook.app is also amazingly worth doing. There are other people's sheets as well that use the same kind of import um, data, use the data core's data that I do. Have a look on, I don't know why it puts the pin down there for me, it just does. Have a look on the guys and tips, resources and helps for players. On, on the forum, which I've, I've started and hope I try and keep updated. Um, this has a few different um, tools in it. A few I will recommend. Uh, if you're a younger player, if you're a newer player, do not airlock chair lock. checklist is good for managing crew that you don't need to keep if you're low, low on crew rosters. Again, grain of salt, um, keep an eye on it uh, of, of who you're actually airlocking and always ask, is this a good idea with various communities? Um, there's the ISM management tool. Take my crons, please, is another good one. Um, I believe Cab's got one as well. We import data. Um, 
there's a lot of out there. There's a lot of tools. There's a lot of good things. Um, I have been talking for far too long. <laughs> I hope this has helped someone. I really do. I know I've gibbered along about it, but it is a good tool. I kind of want to endorse it for new players, and hopefully this has been a good guide hmm. for people in between me just drinking beers at random. Um, I think I'm probably going to play some games now um, because this seems like a good idea to stop uh, and say bye-bye to YouTube because I'm going to cut this up here. So, ta-ra. And we're going to play some games on here.